Hey everybody, Tyler Holland here with Outboard Specialty Tools and today we're doing a product demo for our new updated OST0023 trim spanner that we're going to be, uh, today we're going to be showing you this on a couple of different models of Yamaha and uh, without further ado, I'm um, just going to quickly show you our kit here. It has 32 millimeter, which this one's already got a little bit of grease on it, 32 millimeter for Yamaha and Showa and Yamaha V8. This is for Mercury Optimax and Mercury 4-stroke trim units. And this is the 38 millimeter for Yamaha V6, 3.3, and 4.2 liter models. So let's see how this works. So we're just going to drop our adapter down onto the trim cap here, like that. And then the receiver goes on top of the adapter. Once you're in like that, I'm using impact here, but you can also use a regular half inch ratchet or open end, box end, that kind of thing. So here we go. Okay. Got that one. So now I got our electric impact set up to its fullest torque setting. So let's go ahead and see what we do here. Okay, we're on there, we're seated. As you can see, plenty of juice and really no problem getting these caps moving on a really old 90. This is a 90 Yamaha two stroke from back in the day. And again, pop those caps loose, no problems whatsoever. Okay, so now we're gonna use our 32 millimeter adapter again. This one is gonna go on to Yamaha F200 XB. Um, so this one is your basic old school Showa trim unit, um, which is one of the ones that's notorious from tear for tearing up uh, tools over the years. So we got our adapter down, put the receiver down on the adapter, make sure everything's seated properly. And let's give it a spin. All right. So having to kind of one hand all this. As you can see, it goes down pretty fast. So let's check out our adapter here. As you can see, we just, uh, this is the second one we've taken loose here. Absolutely zero deformation on our pins. These pins are super tough, super durable. And, um, well, let's take a look at our cap. You can see our cap looks great. There's no deformation on it. Okay. So, move it over our starboard cylinder here. And again, adapter, receiver. And then, go ahead and give our motor a little lift here. all there is to it. As you can see, super easy to use. We just use our 32 millimeter adapter on four separate caps. Everything looks great on here. Pins look great. Caps all look marvelous. There's no deformation whatsoever on any of the caps. And so that's uh, it for our 32 millimeter. Now let's move on to our 38s. Okay, now we are Checking out the 38 millimeter adapter on the OST0023 impact spanner. So here we go. Uh, let's see. We got our, this is a trim unit off of uh, F250. So this is the same trim unit that they use on the 3.3 liter and the 4.2 liter Yamahas. And it's also the 38 millimeter pattern also fits on a bunch of Suzuki as well. So go ahead and get us stuff seated down here. And so, in this case, I've got our manual release all the way in. Haven't backed it out yet. I just want to see what this thing can do. And I have us set to our highest torque setting on here. So, let's see what we got. Okay, that one's up. Yep. Okay. So, again, we're just going to set our adapter down. Bring our receiver down on it. 
we go. Keep it nice and flat. And let it go. All right. And that's all she wrote. As you can see, with the manual release all the way in, there was a little bit of back pressure. But I just wanted to test it under the uh, most strenuous circumstances I could find. And with this crusty old thing, I think we found it. So for today, Tyler Holland with Outboard Specialty, showing you our product demo for full instructional videos on these trim units, such as the one on 3342 and a Check out our other videos on YouTube. And it's going to show step by step, tear down, rebuild, reseal, all that good stuff. And if you have any questions, as always, contact us here at Outboard ST and we'll do whatever we can to help you. Thank you. Have a good day.